The electrical management system controls all power within the camper van and switches between 12 volt and 240 volt sources. For the 12 volt system to work, the 12 volt main switch must be in the on position. The switch also has a low power cutout to protect the battery. The control panel monitors the condition of the battery and the remaining charge. Therefore, regular inspection and maintenance will prolong battery life. The 240 volt system is protected by a circuit breaker. Ensure that this is always in the on position. The camper van electrical system is operated by a deep cycle battery that is isolated from the vehicle cranking battery. The cranking battery is a separate battery that is used solely for starting the engine and will do so even if the house battery is low. Battery power is limited and needs to be conserved whenever possible. So try to keep consumption to a minimum by turning off all unnecessary lights and appliances and by connecting to 240 volt power when stationary. Take every opportunity to recharge the battery using 240 volt power or by driving for a few hours. Idling the engine won't provide enough power to recharge the house battery and on some models, idling the engine will actually flatten the engine battery unless you increase engine revolutions. When driving the vehicle, the engine battery will charge prior to the house battery. To connect to 240 volts mains power, use this supplied extension lead to the plug-in fitting. Your camper van should only be connected to circuits rated at 15 amps. With a large earth pin like this, the Apollo high top is fitted with a circuit breaker. If the circuit breaker trips, turn off all appliances and reset it by switching it back on then turn on your appliances. If it trips again, turn off all appliances, reset the breaker, then turn on your appliances one at a time until you identify the problem device and have it inspected. Your vehicle is equipped with 240 volt power outlets for use of your personal appliances. The vehicle must be connected to 240 volt power in order for these outlets to operate. Your fridge operates off 12 volts and 240 volts and will automatically switch over to 240 volts once the vehicle is connected to power. To operate your fridge, adjust your thermostat switch located inside the fridge to the desired temperature. Your camper van is also fitted with a 240 volt microwave. To operate the microwave, the vehicle must be connected to 240 volt power. The LPG system provides gas for the stove. If handled correctly, the gas is safe provided some basic precautions are taken. Gas bottles should always be stored in a specific compartment in an upright position so they are readily accessible in case of emergency. Only use liquid petroleum gas or LPG intended for gas appliances and always have gas refilled by authorised LPG refilling stations. Never use a wrench to tighten gas lines onto a bottle as they are designed to be finger tight only. When not in use or when travelling, the entire system should be turned off at the bottle. Always open windows before operating gas appliances. Familiarise yourself with emergency procedures and fire extinguisher locations. Making sure you know what to do in case of a gas leak or fire. Firstly, Ensure all stove caps are closed before turning the gas on at the bottle and open the splashback lid. Some stoves need to be lit manually by hand. This demonstration is for those vehicles fitted with igniters. Turn on the burner by rotating and holding in the stove cap and press the igniter at the same time. Once the burner ignites, hold the stove cap down for a further 15 seconds. If the burner fails to light, Turn it off, wait a minute, and try again. Sometimes it takes a little time for gas to travel through the lines from the gas bottle. For models where manual lighting is required, follow the same instructions, but simply light the gas burners instead of operating the igniters. Always allow adequate ventilation when using the stove or grill, but beware of drafts extinguishing the flame. The stove is not designed for internal heating and should never be used to do so. When cooking is finished, allow time for the stove to cool before returning the splashback lid back to its original position prior to travel. 
Also ensure that the gas has been turned off at the bottle. Remember, never use the stove for anything but cooking.